Who's this guy here? Bob <laughs> Peterson. Ah, there you go. Dr. Peterson. Dr. Uh, Dr. Peterson. Uh, I asked my wife, because I'm now recently retired, so I can't ask my colleagues anymore, who <laughs> usually give, gave me good, uh, good advice. So I asked my wife, who gives me even better advice. I have to talk with respect to Carol Pollock, and she knows Carol from our, our days of going to President's receptions at the SMC which no longer happened anymore. And Greg Lima and some of the older folks uh, could recall these events. But anyway, so my wife knows Carol. She says, well, two things. A, be brief. You know how you can get, so I'm going to try and be brief. The other thing she said, which is very important, is make sure you don't make any inferences about Carol and how old she is. So I just met Carol a few hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I guess the beans were spilled with, with Gary and going back over the decade. But uh, my time knowing Carol really goes back to the board days back in the, in the 90s. And what I can tell you is that board meetings with Carol were never dull. And they certainly were never, never politically correct. <laughs> it turns out that Carol and I worked for two companies at different times, IFF and McCormick. And thank God it was different times, because if Carol and I ever worked at a company together, I don't think that company would have survived. We would have survived, <laughs> but we surely would have never survived. That's funny. What I can tell you is that at the board meetings, Carol always spoke her mind, and she always had the thoughts of, of the society of chemists as a whole. The best mind that she could give and the best that could be uh, done for the society was always paramount on, on Carol's mind. Again, maybe not phrased in the most politically correct terms, but hey, what the hell, this was the 90s. <laughs> PC was unknown. <laughs> PC was basically either an Apple or a uh, an IBM computer at that time. PC really didn't exist back then. 